Question number 7 says that find half of 2 3 fourths. So what we'll write is 1 by 2 of 2 3 fourths. So if we convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction, we'll get it as 11 over 4. So we replace off with a multiplication sign and write it as 1 by 2 times 11 by 4 and that will be 11 by 8. So if we divide 11 by 8, we get the quotient as 1 and the remainder as 3. So the mixed fraction for this will be 1, 3 eighths. Now coming to the second bit of it, we have half of, so of is replaced with a multiplication sign, 4, 2 ninths. So converting this into an improper fraction, 9 fours are 36, 36 plus 2 is 38, we get 38 over 9. So 2 ones are 2 and 2 19s are 38. So if we divide 19 by 9 now, we get the quotient as 2 and the remainder as 1. So the mixed fraction for this will be 2 1 9s. Now similarly doing this part B, which says 5 over 8 of 3 5 over 6, we'll write it as 5 over 8. Off is replaced with a multiplication sign. We convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So 6 times 3 is 18. 18 plus 5 gives us 23. So 23 over 6. On multiplying, we get the product as 115 divided by 48. Dividing 115 by 48 gives us the quotient as 2 and the remainder as 19. So the mixed fraction for this will be 2 19 over 48. Similarly doing the second bit of it, we write 5 over 8 of is replaced with a multiplication sign. Converting this mixed fraction into an improper fraction, 3 nines are 27, 27 plus 2 is 29. So we get it as 29 over 3. The product we get it as 145 over 24. Now dividing 145 by 24 we get the quotient as 6 and the remainder as 1. So the mixed fraction for this will be 6 1 over 24. And this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.